What's going on you guys? Sambo here. Welcome back to Alsimir. Unfortunately, uh, this always happens. I was building a huge area and then my camera did not record. So, yeah, I did a lot of expansion in El Samhara, the capital city. You can see over there in the background, there's a lot of high-rise high buildings now. Very sunny at this time, so the buildings are very light-colored. But, yeah, a lot of expansion and... Um, that was going to be this video, but uh, since we don't have that, I'm just going to finish up this area. I don't know why the recording didn't save. Who knows? But yeah, we're going to finish up this area. I actually really like this area, and I think what really makes it look good is how the marina fits in there, and it's really nice. So we're just going to finish off what I've already done, and I know that you guys missed most of it, and it's my, my computer's fault, my fault, whatever. It is what it is, but... Um, so it's, it's a mixed use area, it's not just commercial, it's a mixture of residential, um, commercial and offices as well. There's a lot of people in this area, so you can see along this, this pathway right here, which was originally a road, and there's no particular reason why there's so many people on this one, so I thought, well, since there's so many people, why don't we cater to that? So the road that I that they're walking on is actually a pathway road. Uh, it is a specific road that I downloaded from the Steam Workshop, but it's, it's it's basically a pathway, but it's converted into a road. So you can still build on it. Cars can still technically drive on it, but it's at 10 kilometers an hour. So it's really not appealing for cars. Cars will very, very rarely go on that road, only if they really have to but they will always do divert uh, elsewhere. I also continue that little pathway up into the more busier areas and um, we change some of the roads around a little bit just to make the, the pathway a bit smoother. You guys will see that eventually. And um, actually, isn't it just satisfying to see all of the people using it like that? It's, it's so nice because usually we just see them on the side of the road. Um, but this this looks good and like they're really spread out people going all over back and forth I suppose when we have public transport, they won't really use it that much this this point here You can see we got two Triangle shapes and triangle shapes are kind of awkward to fit in especially if they're smaller if they're bigger You can do like a New York style Times Square type thing, but this one's quite small um, but instead of just shoving buildings in there, we're going to make it a bit of a, just a seating area, a few cafes and, um, I think a ice cream van or something like that, just because it's such an awkward area. And because there's already so many people there anyway, it is a good spot to put in seating areas. It makes, it makes sense, doesn't it? Because there's a lot of people there. Um, and then all along the pathway that goes into the more dense area, I make sure that it's all commercial because again, that makes sense, right? You have a really busy walking area. It would make sense to have a lot of shops right on it. And um, it just, just looks good to see like little neon signs buzzing and other signs along the walkways. Now let's have a little talk about the actual shape of this area. The, you'll notice this area has more of a structure because it's more 
of a planned area versus the older area which is to the right side which is which is what it's been for ages it's been just the very old city it's been it's got a very windy layout which you saw at the start of the video and you'll probably see it when I zoom in and out but yeah the older area I've specifically made it have such an obvious windy chaotic layout because back in those times sometimes old cities do have like a grid but a lot of the time the really really old ones don't have any type of grid system the roads are just pretty much all over the place so I wanted there to be a really big difference between the old area versus the newer areas and then we'll have the extra extra modern areas so this part that we're working on now I don't really know when like what era it's not the old old area but it is it is still kind of old maybe like 1800s or something where they just started to think about structures um, and then there's this there's still going to be windy roads here and there just to make a bit of a difference instead of it all being a hard grid well it's not really a hard grid either I shouldn't say that because I still do curves and other wavy roads here and there but um, you will start to see more straight lines throughout this city and then next to the, the marina you might see that there's a random square area that comes out which has buildings on it I think the inspiration for that one was it's supposed to look like it was originally like a harbor or marina because if you look at some cities they'll have the like the port right next to the downtown area and then slowly you start to see nowadays that those buildings um, that those ports are slowly being converted into luxury buildings and that's kind of like the inspiration for that area and also where the area that I'm talking about we're also going to extend that right out so it's going to be the starting point for the ultra modern areas which we will do very very soon but so so keep an eye out for that but we're not quite there yet but it will be coming probably in January sometime this part right here I forget what it is it's a church or something someone will know what it is it's in my asset list if you want it uh, I chose that that building because it does fit in with the color scheme which is really important it has to be like a dull color for this area of the city because all of the buildings that we're using you can see they're kind of dark grayish like a sandy type color which fits in with a desert style city um, and since it is like a monument I wanted to make sure that there's parking around here and we have those uh, seating areas the little cafes and things they're going to need areas for parking as well but of course they can still park on the side of the street if they really want to but it's always nice to have parking lots here and there and having parking lots helps break up the look of just all the buildings it just breaks it up a little bit and you can it's kind of like an alternative to doing parks so I could have done a park there, but no, I feel like doing a parking lot instead. I don't know if you guys have noticed but the style that I'm going for uh, instead of doing like a typical downtown area where there's like a grid of really high-rise buildings what I'm going to do for El Samhara which is this city all of the tallest buildings not always but majority of them are going to be along these large main roads Um, I guess if like one example would be kind of like in LA you can follow the main roads and you'll see all the really high-rise the high-rise buildings along those main roads and then right next to it is all of the just smaller buildings so that's kind of like what I'm going to go for but not necessarily just high buildings along the main roads there's still high buildings 
uh, throughout the city, but majority of the high buildings will be attracted towards those main busy roads. And I guess a lot of those roads will have a lot of commercial on the ground areas, a lot of offices, and then a lot of the high rise buildings will be uh, residential as well. Working on this little pedestrian pathway road here, since they don't walk on the sidewalk, since they walk directly like in the middle, we can really bring all of the buildings and all of the, the props and things really close just because they don't need any other space. They have the space they need, which is on that walkway right, right, right there. And um, I really do like that crowded look. It really, really fits in with the older style concept of the city and to help make the flow of these pathways work a bit better I removed some of the connections so you can see that they can still exit on the left side but they can't exit on the right side if there was a car um, and one of, another reason why I did that is because when you have an intersection a four-way intersection with the pathways they instead of just walking directly in the middle of the intersection they walk along this side which kind of looks a bit funny right so by doing that it just breaks it up a little bit but yeah th that's all we're gonna do for this episode i'm just giving you guys another final look and i really wish my recording system didn't break so annoying but it does look really good i think it, um even the grids look quite good and it's so satisfying seeing all the people walking along there looks really good so there's the older city in the background there and those the older area probably won't have any more higher buildings i really want to preserve that older area we've got a few korean condos there and you know a lot more to do in this city so let's leave it there and i will catch you guys next time